Hey financial warriors, welcome to the show. Now recently, Mark Zuckerberg, because he really isn't an alpha male, nor even a beta male, he's a meta male. He rebranded Facebook's parent company, Meta. Well, that's just a joke, but Meta refers to the metaverse, virtual reality worlds where users can buy land, buy items, play games, and conduct their lives, doing everything they could in the real world. Which makes me think it's kind of pointless because you could just go out into the real world. And the Icelandic Tourist Bureau agrees. Enhanced actual reality without silly looking headsets. With water that's wet. Shut up. There's a lot of money to be made with the metaverse. Oh right, yeah, the metaverse, best thing ever. Now in this video, I am gonna tell you a little bit about the development of the metaverse. We're gonna go through some of the metaverse coins that I am currently invested in and a few that I am looking at buying. If you like the sound of that, why not subscribe to the channel for new videos almost every day. So there isn't just one metaverse, in fact, there are many. And these metaverses are connected to games that are either regular video games or they are VR, virtual reality or augmented reality where you look at the real world but you have glasses that show you some graphics overlaid on top of that. These games normally have their own cryptocurrencies which users can use to buy assets in the games such as weapons, skins, land or they can even earn the cryptocurrency by carrying out missions within the game. The most famous game of this type right now is probably Axie Infinity, which has been described as Pokemon on the blockchain. Some people in less developed countries are actually making a full-time income playing the game. The Axies, or little battling monsters within the game, are unique objects on the blockchain, NFTs, that can be bought and sold. Now, Mark Zuckerberg's view of the metaverse is more of a virtual meetup place. Facebook have stated that they want to build the underlying infrastructure and then let other companies develop it on top of that. And Zuckerberg is great at making it sound creepy and awkward. Hey Mark, down for a VR foiling sesh? Now this is more my style. The Winklevi, on the other hand, take another route. You know, the Winklevoss brothers. You must really hate the Winklevosses. The Winklevi. Oh, you didn't know that was the plural. It's like Lexus. It's interesting, Michael, since owning a Lexus, it's amazing the number of Lexi you see around. Because <laughs> that's the plural. Anyway, the Winklevi have a long history of competing with the Zuck. They are the ones that Zuckerberg worked for when he was first developing Facebook until he took the idea and developed it on his own. And then the Winklevi sued him in court and he had to pay out $65 million to them. And then in 2013, they took 11 million of that $65 million and they invested it in buying 1% of all the Bitcoin in existence at that time. And that investment really paid off because Bitcoin rose exponentially. And now the Winklevi have their own cryptocurrency exchange, Gemini. You get it? Gemini, because there's two of them. Through Gemini, they just raised $400 million in funding for building out the metaverse. And Cameron Winklevoss said in an article with Forbes that he wants to develop a more decentralized metaverse than Zuckerberg's vision for it. And he also wants ways that different metaverses can link up. Now, I downloaded Gemini several months ago specifically for investing in metaverse tokens. And in the next section of the video, I'm gonna show you four investments that I have made in metaverse coins and I am already up massively on. Number one, Decentraland. So Decentraland or MANA, M-A-N-A, -A, is the currency of the Decentraland game, which if you want, you can go and try it out directly in your web browser. It's described as the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Barbados recently made headlines when they announced that they are buying land in Decentraland to build an embassy on a virtual embassy. Now, MANA, the currency of Decentraland, at the time of recording this video, is trading at about four US dollars per coin. Now, I got into this thing at $1.44, and it went down after I got into it. That was many, many months ago, and I've just been diamond handing it ever since, and over the last few weeks, we've seen an incredible rally. But Decentraland now has a market cap of $7 billion, which is almost as big as Axie Infinity. So I'm thinking about dollar cost averaging my way out quite soon. It could go higher, but there are gonna be newer games with higher returns. Number two, The Sandbox. Like Decentraland, The Sandbox is another user-owned virtual world, and you can buy land in The Sandbox on the NFT marketplace OpenSea. The game features block-based graphics similar to Minecraft, which I personally cannot understand the appeal of, but hey, 
What do I know? I don't even play video games. I'm just here to make money and I don't even care because I bought into the sandbox at 73 cents per coin and it's now $5.40-ish at the time of writing. So I have had a 7x increase on this one. We had a big rally yesterday after Adidas bought a big piece of land in the sandbox. Thanks to one of my viewers for tipping me off to that. Currently the market cap is sitting at around 4 billion, a little bit above that. I took some profit yesterday, but I'm thinking this one can definitely reach that $7 billion market cap where Decentraland is at. Number three, Engine Coin. ENJ or Engine Coin is the cryptocurrency of the Engine platform, which is a gaming platform that launched in 2009 and amassed 20 million users. In 2017, they got into the blockchain, making $18 million off of their initial coin offering for Engine Coin. And the cool thing about Engine is that it isn't just one game. It's a platform that developers can build multiple games on top of, and Engine Coin can be used to buy and sell in-game assets, NFTs. And those NFTs can also be used in more than one game. Now, I got into Engine Coin at $1.69. It's currently up at $3.90, so I've more than doubled my money. However, I probably won't sell this one for a while. I see it as having a long road ahead of it because of the fact that it's more like a multiverse. You can buy NFTs and use them across multiple games. Number four, Somnium Space. Now, Somnium Space is a virtual world game similar to Decentraland, and it is actually a VR game and it uses the Oculus headset and Oculus is of course owned by Facebook so when Facebook made the announcement they're getting into the metaverse Cube, the currency of Somnium Space of course shot right up. Now with this one I first bought in a little bit late at $17 which is kind of okay and I've bought at several different price points as it's gone up and down. I bought in at 25 which is <laughs> it's a bit high but I've also bought in as low as 14 so currently my average price is $17 and right now the coin is trading at about $19. So I've only made a little bit of profit on this one so far but we are currently kind of in a dip so I do expect Cube to increase a lot. But with all of these games they're only really the beginning of the development of what the metaverse could be. User generated worlds etc. Now I don't want to offend any of the developers because I think they've done an amazing job. They're pioneers uh, in the space. But what I think is really important for any game is going to be three things. Graphics, gameplay and storyline. And once we see metaverse games with amazing graphics, great gameplay and amazing stories that really hit that triple A video game classification, we are gonna see huge adoption. And if you don't know, triple A refers to the highest quality of games, games like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, etc. Now there are some metaverse games that I am interested in that do appear to offer that higher level production and get away from those block type graphics that other metaverse games have utilized. And now I'm gonna take you through some. Illuvium is one such title and it could easily be the next Axie Infinity. It's a 3D game where you can train and fight monsters and the graphics look really impressive. The Illuvium coin currently has a market cap of $800 million. Now any coin that has a market cap of under a billion dollars really has the potential to deliver massive gains. So if this thing is successful and the market cap reaches say 6 billion somewhere near where Axie Infinity, Decentraland etc are that would be a 10x game if you invest now. So if you want to get into this now is really the time because as soon as it's released it'll most likely shoot up. Next we have Vulcan Forged which is a platform that developed multiple games and NFTs and their native token is PYR, which can be used to buy digital assets in their games. It also has a market cap of under half a billion dollars, so it potentially is a candidate for massive gains if it can reach the same level as some of the coins we've talked about earlier. Next, we have Star Atlas. Now, this is a space battle game about different groups racing to search for a diamond the size of a planet somewhere out in space. It's a cool concept and the graphics look very impressive for a blockchain game. If they're able to back it up with good gameplay and engaging story, it's sure to do well. Now, the market cap of the game's Atlas coin is currently just over 300 million. I would say this one is slightly more risky than the other two. But remember guys, these are the next wave of metaverse blockchain games after Decentraland, The Sandbox, etc. They should make it big in 2022, but on the other hand, if the gameplay is bad, they could turn out to be just pretty crap and no one plays them and then you'll lose all your money. All right, guys, those are my current investments and some of the ones that I am thinking of investing in right now. The later ones I talked about in the video, many of them you can't buy on exchanges. You have to use a wallet such as Metamask, etc. I think one of them you can buy on Binance. 
Um, if you want to invest in the first four, those larger ones, Decentraland, Sandbox, etc., you can get all of those on Gemini, all four of them, and you can actually get $10 worth of free Bitcoin for signing up to Gemini with my link below. So click below if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.